Liam, a frustrating night. It was just one defensive lapse, really, that, that cost you the game. Yeah, um, I think that's been the case with the last three games. I think just little errors, that's kind of cost us in the small margins. Um, we, we know every team's going to make it difficult for us now, I think, in terms of the standard that we set last season and the expectations that we've got on ourselves. And I think we're the team that everyone wants to beat and uh, that you can see how much it meant, meant to Bolton today. I was going to say, there was, there was very little between the two teams, wasn't there, both in terms of chances and quality tonight? Yeah, definitely. It was, it was a very even game. Um, like you said, a little bit of an error defensively towards the end. We, we could have come away with a point, but um, it's... It's still early and I think this is a kind of a kick up the backside that we need to, to kind of uh, cut the mistakes now. Are these defeats more frustrating than when you lose 2-3-4-0? Yeah, because it's so small like in terms of margins and like I said, small error uh, cost us but at the end of the day we, we're hopefully experienced enough now to, to bounce back and with the quality that we've got in the group and, and uh, ambition to, to drive on. You look through some of the teams tonight, Ipswich losing again, Sunderland losing tonight, Wigan drawing with, with Wickham. It shows, even in the games we've played, there's, there's very little between whoever's top and whoever's bottom of the table. It, it feels like this league's closer than ever. Yeah, definitely. I think this league is, that's why it's so exciting in terms of uh, anyone can beat anyone on the day. Um, it's just about consistency and, uh, and keep pushing. Uh, for yourself, I know there was a break in play just for half time, and I saw you pull your two midfielders t towards you, McGrandles and, and Sorensen. You had a, a chat with them. I guess that's part of the, the leadership role that you have within the team and within the club. Yeah, definitely. I think that's one of the, the big reasons that the manager wanted me in, um, in terms of my experience and, uh, and, and kind of guiding the, the lads through. Um, I've got a good understanding in terms of how the manager wants to work, and sometimes, obviously, with, with the crowd, it's, it's difficult to get the Meshes across, so it's, it's my job to, to kind of put it there. You're over 9,000 tonight, and it was a, a great atmosphere from both sets of teams, wasn't it? it? It felt like a proper football match once again with, with both teams uh, giving it the right go. Yeah, it feels like, uh, feels like football again. Um, yeah, it's, the, the fans have been brilliant. Even when it wasn't in the, in the ground, they was always showing their support on social media and things like that. So, yeah, um, for, for us, it was, it was like some of the lads. It's a new experience in terms of witnessing some of the atmosphere that we've got here tonight um, but that's what you want in football that's what drives you forward and the great thing about early on in the season is a defeat like this you can put behind you very quickly when you, you go to Wickham on Saturday yeah I think the luxury of this league is that we've you have so many games um, there's no time to dwell we just got to go again um, recover well and uh, look forward to the next game